In our last video, we looked at try, catch, finally, and the way that we would structure code if we wanted to do proper exception handling for reading a file. We needed this finally in here to make absolutely certain that our file was always closed, whether or not something went wrong. Well, this is kind of a pain to structure all of this code. In fact, it's so much of a pain that in Java, in Java 7, they introduced a completely new construct called the uh, try with resources that allows you to basically open things like these file input streams, anything that is closable, and it will guarantee that it winds up getting closed. Scala doesn't need to add that because Scala has a more expressive syntax and we can create something called the loan pattern. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to create a new Scala object and I'm going to call it loan pattern. And we're going to write a method in here that is going to allow us to have some code that uses a file input stream, but we're not going to have to doubly nest our tries to make sure that it always closes. So we'll call this use file input stream. It's going to take a file name, which is a string, and then it's going to be curried and it's going to take a body or a handler which takes a file input stream and gives back something, type A. Now that's not going to be happy until we put an A there, and the whole thing is going to give us back an A. Okay, let's import the file input stream. So how is this going to work? Well, first we need to open our file input stream. So we do that just like we did before, and we'll pass it our file name. And then we're going to try to execute the body. So the body takes that file input stream as an argument. We don't have any catches here. Instead, we say finally, and we make sure that that FIS closes. Okay, our stream closes no matter what. So this is the, that should have an E in it. That is the primary idea of the loan pattern. So how do we use this? Well, let's come to our code over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. I'm going to comment it. And then I'm going to paste it up here. So we need to call that. Instead of opening a new file input stream here, I'm going to call our loan pattern dot use file input stream. The file name, well, is, is this. And the body is some function that uses FIS and does stuff with it. So we no longer need that FIS. And our goal here was to make it so we didn't have to nest the try catch. We already have a try here. And so I want to take this code right there and paste it up inside of there. So the body of my kind of the body of the loan pattern here is that to use this FIS, the file input stream, and read in all the bytes and print stuff out. Okay, that's what we're going for there. Now then this catch is attached to this try. And it's actually going to catch both types of exceptions. So if we format, save, you'll note that this is now happy. So we use the loan pattern here, and it just has one try that goes around the whole thing that handles whatever types of exceptions we want. Maybe it's the file not found exception, maybe it's the IO exception. Okay, but I only had to have one try. I didn't have to double nest it. And because of the ability to pass in a function, in some ways also the syntax of currying, the fact that I was just able to do this as a nice block of code here, this makes it so that it's easy to write this. And this is why Scala doesn't have to add a new construct, the, a try with resources. It has the expressivity to allow you to write library code that can do that same type of thing for you so that we don't have to double nest our tries. We can just do it one layer 
and have our exception handling code in here and it all works the way that we want it to.